solid as a rock yeah guys being a solid man is the key to attraction and the key to success it's key to life in general and the thing about it is we got to get back to being solid men because a lot of these a lot of what's going on right now in society and with men is that it's an age of of degeneracy Okay, it's it's very degenerate. I can't even escape this, right? And I, I almost fell into the trap of when I used to watch these red pillars and stuff, and they would come on camera, and every time I finished watching them, I would feel emotionally messed up, right? Like I would just feel terrible. I would be like, damn, it's hopeless. All women are bad, all women cheating and all. all you know, hey, look, are there some merits to that? Yes. But at the same time, you have to take a look at yourself. What kind of man are you? And a lot of these alpha males, right, when they hopped on the camera, you could you sense their very negative, very low frequency, very low vibrational attitude. They had a lot of hurt. They had a lot of resentment. They were very bitter, even though they claim to not be. Right. And I'm going to talk about it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. It's going to be a solid conversation with some solid men and it's going to be a solid ass video. Dig. Let's go. So like I was saying, man, it's it's a common, common theme, not only with men, but also with women. It's being encouraged that everyone acts like a degenerate. Everyone acts like a moralist narcissistic just effing everybody over and the thing that you guys ought to know is that all of this i'm a player you know i'm i'm, I'm a degenerate i'm an a-hole which is what a lot of these red pillars uh promote but they don't show you behind the scenes how they be lonely as hell behind the scenes how they actually be hurting behind the scenes how they are constantly looking for validation from women trying to get a date from this chick, trying to get a date from that chick, trying to get validation from this chick, getting flaked on, right? Trying to get these meaningless, useless hookups. They're not going to show you that behind the scenes. All they're going to show you is, uh, you know, oh, have a rotation of five women and go to the club and pull some, some random slut, right? They're not going to tell you about getting your mind right they're not going to tell you about being a person of substance or family okay all they're going to promote is this useless hookup culture and look to each his own everyone is entitled to their own lives none of us are perfect i for shit show am not perfect i have my flaws I'm still a man like like all of y'all okay I'm still a man i still have my man tendencies OK, I get it. We're not none of us are perfect. But for the most part, these guys that you guys watch are living in an extremely low vibrational way. They're living in a low vibrational lifestyle. It's not solid. I don't give a damn. You know, I get these guys every time I make videos, I get some, you know, some body in the comment section trying to defend these red pillars. Hey, look, that's fine. If you want to watch them, you can go ahead and go to another video. This is not that, right? I'm not one of those channels. If you guys didn't realize that yet, because a lot of you guys, you watch these guys because you want answers. You want you want to know what you did wrong. You want to know what happened. You want to know why this girl flaked on you. You want to know why this chick uh, is you, a lot of them, right? Because I don't care how solid you are. These type of things are going to happen to every man, right? But you want to figure out why the hell your life just seems so aimless. Why, you know, you, you're so dependent on female. Why you want to have these hookups all the time. So you turn to these videos and these guys give you the most degenerate, moralist, low life advice. Okay. How to be a side, you know, the, the whole thing about being a side piece, you know, just low vibrational shit. How to pull bar holes and have one night stands. 
Like, fellas, honestly, think 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 about this to yourself. What benefit is that really going to get you? Have I done those type of things before? Yes. Random hookups. Uh, you know, wanting validation, being intoxicated 24-7, being just in a low, like, moral list, no kind of structure, no kind of discipline lifestyle. And it was terrible. And a lot of these, these guys that you watch on the Manosphere, quote unquote, giving you this type of advice, that's exactly what their life is like. It's a very moral list, no kind of substance. You know, they're making money off of you guys by selling you coaching, all this type of stuff. And that shit ain't solid, bro. If you want to attract a quality woman, it starts with being a solid man. You have to be solid in yourself. You have to get yourself in the most solid state possible. You got to be a man that has morals, that has substance. Okay. You got to have substance. You got to have a backbone. Being intoxicated 24 7, chasing after useless broads, lusting over IG chicks, right? A lot of you guys, your IG page, you're following like 50 IG thoughts. Okay. You you guys are following like 50 IG broads, being in a constant state. Oh, I got to hook up, you know, sending DMs. You know what? The typical hookup culture stuff that these guys are telling y'all to do okay and the thing about it is if you want to be attractive you got to start with yourself first a lot of guys are like why be a try why even try why you why are you doing all this stuff for females you guys are missing the whole point it's not for females now one thing i will say it's nuanced a lot of these guys hopping on my channel talking about, oh, you, you all you talk about is females and, and attraction and stuff like that. And it's funny because they're watching a video that's literally about attraction. OK, now the thing about it is, like I said, I'm in a relationship, right? I'm with my, my old lady. I, I love her. You know, I'm trying. We, we starting some. We're trying to build something. Both of us are heading towards a path. We trying to build something. Okay. <clears throat> but for my single guys, it's natural to want to have a mate. It's human nature. Every man wants a mate. Every man wants a woman that he could call his own. Okay. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that shit. It's human nature. And the thing about it is, if that's what you want, you have to become solid first. So that way, you don't chase butterflies by building your garden. They are attracted to you. You get what I'm saying? You got to, as within, so without. As above, so below. What you put out, you get back in. So if you pull it, if, if you're on the right track, if you're getting, if you're sobering up, if you're taking care of your body, you're taking care of your diet to some extent, if you are uh, listening to audio books and, or reading and journaling. You know, I said, I made a video about journaling. It barely got any views. Of course it got in, barely got any views. You know why? Because most guys want to hear degenerate about degenerate shit. Most guys want to hear, Oh, how do I hook up with this girl? What do I say to this girl to get her to hook up? What? Give me three lines to hook up with, with a, uh, a random female and that I met in a bar that just got done getting fucked the, the night before by some other random guy, right? Teach me, I wanna see videos to teach me how to attract, how to be low vibrational so I can attract low vibrational chicks so I can have a low vibrational life. That's what most guys want. And the thing about it is, if you don't fix yourself within, if you don't start telling yourself, I'm a man of respect, I am, a man that is worthy. I am a man that is worthy of a fulfilling life. I am a man that's worthy of wealth. I am a man that is attracting high quality women or attracting women that are willing to build. 
right? If if you don't if if you don't put out that type of if you don't build yourself for that type of energy, you're not gonna get it back. Cause trust and believe, bro. If you trying to act like these dudes that you see on social media, on IG, these players, okay, just doing just constantly living and you know I see these guys on on social media and on YouTube. All the chicks that they be with are like low, like only fans, girls, you know, chicks that have BBLs and chicks that have like a body count of God knows what. And I'm just like, is this is this really what it is? Is this really what what you want to strive for? If it is, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. But don't start complaining. Don't the thing that gets me is these guys live so low vibrational. They live in a, a unsolid life. Okay, they're not living solid, and then they complain. Oh man, these hoes ain't shit, bro. You ain't shit either. If we want to be quite frank, you ain't nothing either. What the hell? What kind of chick do you think you're gonna attract? Dressing the way you do. Okay, smoking weed twenty four seven, being drunk twenty four seven doing all type of narcotics 24 seven. Okay. And once again, no judgment. This is not being judgmental. I'm just telling the objective truth and people call it judging. You can say it's judging if you want, you know, you can lie to yourself and say, I'm judging, but guess who doesn't lie? The universe. Look at all these guys. Look at all these guys that, that live that type of degenerate lifestyle. They're constantly getting in legal trouble. They're constantly in pub and publicity, right? They're constantly in jail, getting murdered, right? They're constantly getting some type of negative outcomes in their life. So uh, you can, hey, look, you can say I'm being judgmental. You can say I'm being an a-hole, right? I'm, but you see what's happening. And the thing that that's the funny thing is, let me use this as an example. They use Future, yes, Future the rapper, okay, as an example of like an alpha male. Bro, tell me how a dude with 10 different baby mamas, I don't know how many kids he has, a, a fucking billion. One of them is Sierra, we all know this. You know, she dumped him, right? Yes, she dumped him. She got rid of him, okay? He constantly, and, and the thing about it is, they're like, oh yeah, he's so alpha, he's the alpha male. And he made a couple of songs talking about how she did him wrong and how he hurt and bitches ain't shit, right? So how much does he not care about these hoes, really? Right? But yet he's idolized as like this alpha male. Now, you don't know, you don't know these, and he's constantly rapping about narcotics, constantly rapping about being intoxicated, constantly rapping about like a thug life that he don't himself participate in. Why would a millionaire, why would a millionaire, right? He he getting millions off of, off of tricking these kids. And I don't even know if he a millionaire for real, because I know how record labels work. You know, we, we heard about how record labels work and how they be taking damn near all the artists fucking money, right? Not to mention the child support, which I don't even want to know, okay? Why would you want to, what, that's what you want to live? That That's alpha to you, okay? So you got to start thinking, man. You got to start thinking you about how to be more solid. Like, look at your, look at the daily habits that you have. Look at what you're doing. Are you hanging out with people who are losers? Every time you hang out with these people, they talking about hookups and, oh man, I pulled this, hold this, and, you know, you look at them, their hygiene is bad, right? They constantly smell like smoke and must and weed. You know, they talk about hoes, this and that, and, and they show you pictures and these chicks look like trash. Like, come on, dog. Is that the type of people you're hanging out with? Are you brushing your teeth when you get in, get up in the fucking morning? Are you washing your behind? Are you waking up early or are you waking up at 12 in the afternoon? Now, nah, seriously, dog, I used to do these type of things. That's why I'm telling you this. I'm not telling you this from a judgmental point of view. I'm telling you this 
from facts, from op from observable truths, from shit I observe. You're not going to get too far with that. Right? Anyway, hope this video helped. God bless y'all. Peace.